One. Two. Today I'm going to share with you some information on what the U.S. can learn from Finland when it comes to education. The speech that we're going to give today is we're going to discuss how the Finnish system has a, a lesson for their students that seems to be working compared to the U.S. I have found a source that I'm using today from a website, which is the International Trends in Lego Learning Institute. The United States could take many cues from this differing mode of formal education by shifting the focus away from standardized testing and fact memorization. Finland has built a model that has been working according to a number of international surveys. Once again, they have scored at the top of international rankings according to PISA in math, reading, and science. And you can see their scores up here in the second, third, and sixth, to whereas the U.S. is lagging a little bit down here towards the middle, and they have uh, ranked as a 15, 23, and a 31 a score among international students. Some of the factors that have led to the success of Finnish educational systems are students are spending less time in a classroom setting, which allows more free time for outdoor and recreational activities. Their student-teacher ratios are 18 to 3, putting more of an emphasis on child development and helping children with special needs, making sure that no child is left behind. And you can see right here, in the photo that they have um, two teachers helping this one student. Each Finnish student is provided a free meal every day and has a 15 minute break for every 45 minutes of instructional time. With the teachers who are focused on teaching rather than testing, unlike in America. Finnish school students are not assessed by national tests or examinations during the school years or upon completing school, in contrast to Americans who are spending much more time in and out of their classrooms with much more homework and less free time for activities as well as standardized testing. You can go to this website where I got the information for this speech today by logging on to education.rec dot ri dot cmu dot edu slash robotics curriculum slash research international trends. Does the teachers in America or the teachers in Finland get paid more? The teachers in um, Finland are getting paid about a 10% increase compared to the teachers in the United States. Okay, Jacob. All right, well, to wrap everything up, basically, in the end, we have learned that through a sense of togetherness, small classroom settings, more caring adults, and outdoor play, all these things are important in encompassing basically what creates a functional school system that does strive for more success. Um, many countries could benefit from implementing a similar system. Um, the United States is one of those countries. Obviously, we've got some infrastructure issues. We've got some other things that we could definitely improve on as far as our standardized testing and education. Um, I think one of the very important points is that Finland has taken away the need for standardized testing and they've basically gone to a further focus for um, focusing on the child, focusing on growth and development, focusing on outdoor activities. Um, one of the very interesting article, articles that we used for our research was actually by a gentleman named Hancock. Um, basically it outlines the country's achievements and it also goes over a lot of the items that you spoke about as far as homework and the outdoor play being very important. Um, it's actually found at www.theatlantic.com on the International Archive. The article is actually called What Americans Keep Ignoring About the Finland School System. Um, again, very good information. Um, and again, to basically wrap everything up, um, like we said earlier, the smaller classroom settings, the more caring adults and the outdoor play are all very important parts of um, the Finnish education system. Um, I'd like to open it up for just a couple of questions. Does anybody in the audience have a question or two? Yeah, I have one. Um, does Finland focus on standardized testing? 
They actually don't anymore. Um, based on what Kimberly said in her speech earlier, they actually don't focus on standardized testing, which again, I feel is one of the most very important parts because it does give more emphasis on the actual person and the actual development as opposed to memorizing the facts. Um, again, you know, I hope Kimberly's information was very informative. I hope we concluded everything correctly, and I hope everybody learned something. Thank you.